and paid to the traders. It said a group of artisans describing themselves as the junior masters who were not beneficiaries of the initial compensation. In a letter to President Akufuado dated 25th February 2018, appealed to the president to be included in the compensation package, a request the president has accepted. The statement added that consultations were undertaken between the Office of the President, National Security and the traders and artisans before the implementation of this decision. It refutes claims that only a week's notice was given to the traders and artisans to move from their current location. It said the leadership of the artisans and traders requested for a six-week grace period from national security beginning from the last week of January 2018 to enable them to move and the request has been met. National security is continuing with the engagement process in order to ensure that their movement is done in a manner that accommodates their welfare as citizens of Ghana. Meanwhile, some of the shop owners and traders around President Ekufado's private residence in Nima have started packing up. This is after they were compensated and asked to vacate the area. Friday, 10th, March 2018, national security officials visited owners and traders at President Ekufado's private residence near the Nima police station and handed them compensation packages along with an ultimatum to vacate the place later by Thursday, 15th March 2018. A day after that, GBC 24 visited the area and found some shop owners moving out gradually, whereas others were busy working. The news team spoke to some shop owners. Early January, yeah. I was They came and wrote our names and took our ID cards. Then they later brought money and asked us to relocate by 15th of March. I will go back to my village so my family can bury me when I die. We are not ungrateful, but the sharing of the money wasn't done equally. I can't blame the government, but those who shared the money. 